Hello, John Webb, Scottish Sci-Fi Network Radio UK, Scottish Sci-Fi Network Radio Follow me on Twitter, DVD Blade. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, DVD Blade. Other social media outlets are available. Hello, uh, back again to do another talky thing about stuff. Um, so, uh, Whiskey Lockdown Week 5, April 26th. Yeah. Alien Day, apparently. Um... Nothing to do with aliens or anything else. This is Red Spot. Uh, this was sent to me a while back to have a wee go at. Um, it was probably quite a while back. I've, I've lost track. Um, but uh, returning kind. So uh, I haven't tried it yet. This is as good as opening it from fresh. Um, this, but after I tried uh, Red Breast. Not related. It's Red Spot. Um, after trying that red breast 15 and reviewing it and not feeling particularly happy with the world uh well with that particular bottle um um my own fault no one else's uh i thought i'd try a different Irish one uh which uh could be nice so this is red spot so the spot range the yellow spot the green spot and the upcoming blue spot there's an interesting blue spot coming up um not related to diseases or anything like that it's just uh it, is, it signifies the age of the whiskey they're in. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what the yellow and the greens are. Something and something. Uh, the red is definitely uh, 15, I believe, 15 year old plus. The blue is going to be young, but they're releasing it as a, uh, a cash strength type expression. So um, that's going to be rather, rather interesting. I'm looking forward to, to, to trying that. I have no idea how much it's going to be. Probably pricey. My finger in the air thought on price, even though it's sort of like I believe it's a seven or a nine year old. I'm going to say seven. I think it's around seven years old, but cash strength. Um, I direct me a scale. Is it nine? One or the other. And I expect it to probably be seventy or eighty quid. And I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I'd rather it was cheaper, but whiskey. Um, anyway, the red spot is more expensive. This is about a hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty quid a bottle. Something like that. Bigger bottle on this, obviously. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it's it's the the bit more expensive of the range of uh, spottage. Um, let's have a go at this. Okay, this has been sat there for a long time, doing nothing, waiting for its moment. So. And it's the first time I'm trying it. I hope I don't like it. I mean, I hope I do like it. I I hope I like it. I hope it's not going to be one of those where I wish I tried it first before I decide to record a video. At least I'm not live. I'm still going to post this. I don't care. I'm going to be honest as I can be. Coconutty interesting 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 reminds me a lot of the red breast 15. <laughs> oh god um but you see the difference was i was expecting different stuff with the red breast 15. anyway let's reset expectations i go in with this with no expectations other than to try whiskey which it is so there's a rich spiciness quite coconut intense so it reminds me of grain in a roundabout way quite dark oaky notes fruit wise definitely more along the lines of um apple apple orchard type cider apples type thing but with a significant vanilla spice behind it Probably up front actually is probably a better way to describe it. Quite a varnishy kind of note, a bit estery. Definitely an intense, it's an intense on the nose, very intense spiciness. Not at all unpleasant, not what I was expecting. <laughs> In all honesty, I don't know what I was expecting, actually. This is kind of a... A 
and that, that brings across even more questionable questions in my mind. Producers Red Spot, Mitch Ronson. Are they all, is it all from the same distillery? I don't know. I really need to do more research than just bunging the camera on and talking. <sighs> Feel free, always, comment below, say you don't know what you're talking about, give me facts and call me an idiot. I don't mind. It's settling down a little bit now, which I'm grateful for. Less of the spice up front, lots of actually. It's definitely more cherries coming through now. It's definitely, this, this is actually starting to feel like it has probably got sherry influence. Really should have done research. Um, it's probably got a significant sherry influence in there because I'm starting to get a bit of clove and definitely getting the cherries. And getting more of a clean kind of sherry hit off of it but very clean very fresh not not kind of old sherry you know it, it, it's definitely more of a a clean sort of uh, just a zingier freshier freshier fresher uh kind of kind of um sherry note spice is calming down thank thank the maker um <laughs> And yeah, it's actually becoming really, 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 really nice now. It's a fly just coming in. That's going to annoy me. It's definitely got that Irish creaminess about it. That cream corn, sweet corny kind of popcorn thing, grainy. <laughs> but then there's unmalted barley in there. I'm guessing that's the the, the element which which brings across all that kind of creamy popcorny buttery thing. And it's definitely got that. Very. There's a lot of intensity of flavour in here. Really intense. Lots of spice, lots of fruit, lots of sugars. Nice balance, but very, very different. Very, um, like I say, it, it's very grain forward. And a bit of coconut, a bit of creamy coconut kind of thing. Reminds me, I've got some coconut in the fridge. Gotta eat that today. You didn't need to know that. Okay. Mm. So yeah, a little bit of oak spice, further into the development and into the finish. The finish goes on for quite a while. Lots of sugars, lots of coconut, lots of vanilla. Thoroughly pleasant, thoroughly pleasant. Reminds me a lot of Red Breast 15 in all fairness. Um, I'm not going to do a side by side now, but I will off, off camera just for, you know, interest sake. Because the real big question then becomes if they are that similar, they've got a significantly different price tag. They're both 46%. Anyway, it's an interesting one, potentially. But yeah, I still think this has kind of got a little bit more sherry. There's actually a little bit of sherry about it. It probably hasn't touched sherry. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway. That's the impression I'm getting. Okay. So lots of sweetness, quite a spicy hit. Back of the tongue, lots of vanilla, very rich, very creamy. 
going into that vanilla and cream butter buttery kind of finish it was very nice very pleasant drinking whiskey not overly my cup of tea to be honest at the moment on another you know in two months time my palate changes very frequently and and you know what in a few months time this might be right up my alley but right now it isn't suiting me as much as others and given the price point again comparing it with things i've tried today comparing this to yamazaki 12 yamazaki wins comparing this to tamna Bullen. <laughs> dear god why is that tamna Bullen so good for me at the moment i don't know maybe i just want to drink mountains of alcoholic ribena i don't know uh, <laughs> but that is really hitting my spot over everything else at the moment what can you do but saying that this is a very extremely good example of quality Irish mid-teens whiskey. Um, it's really nice. I like it. Probably wouldn't buy a bottle myself. Being honest. Sorry. But there you go. Anyway, that'll do for that. Um, there are Irish whiskies I like. I'll have to open one. <laughs> um, um, the Audi, 12-year-old. Fantastic. Anyway, um, that'll, that'll do for now. And I'll, um, I'll speak to you later. God. I do like whiskey, honest. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>